Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm just here with Leela. We're gonna play ball down. So I opened the car door and uh, she is not allowed to come out even though she wants to. She's really excited. I'm gonna pop the trunk because that's where my chuck it is. Oh, she loves that sound. <clears throat> Yeah, so it's been a while. I hope everybody's doing well. It's been a crazy couple months. Um, yeah, it's just been crazy. I don't know. I've kind of just been down and uh, busy with work and uh, just tons going on. See, she's shaking. She wants to come out of the car so bad. I'm going to let her out. Okay. She is ready. Hey. Are you ready to play ball? She's like, I know it's in there. I know it's in there. Oh, it's over there. All right, I got the ball. I closed the door. I got my crazy girl here. Hey, are you crazy? Her really crazy eyes are coming out. She has like two modes. She has calm and psycho. <laughs> For the ball. She, her ball drive guys is so, so intense. Okay, enough. Enough. She really doesn't mean harm, but she just, her jumping is sometimes too much. And uh, she's like all muscles, so <laughs> just a jump, even though she means no harm, definitely has given me some bruises at times. All right, door is locked. We're going to bounce our way. So I'm just at the park that I like to come to. 95% um, of the time, it is empty, which I like. Um, oh, I do see some people over there. But they're pretty far and don't seem to be a bother. So yeah, I've just been busy. Um, I've been keeping myself busy. I joined um, like a Sunday group class. Um, it's a trainer who um, basically we go to like different places all the time. Hang on, guys. I'm just going to walk over to the field and I'll be back. Okay, guys. I am walked over to the field. It was just a lot to uh, hold the phone, the chuck it. Leela jumping so I'm not a professional yet but yeah I'm just at the field um, she is ready to go you ready you see that you ready I see her butt kind of move up <laughs> okay <laughs> oh, that was a bad throw yeah so on Sundays um, I joined the class with her basically every Sunday um, it's led by a trainer <clears throat> and we go to new places um, all around the city um, we go downtown so I live in like the suburbs of Toronto so we go downtown we go on different trails up north um, we go to some like very busy trails in the city um, so it's been really great a couple weeks ago we had a really cool field trip which actually took us on the TTC um, so we met at like a subway station took the TTC with all the dogs and then got downtown. That was really cool. Leela has never been uh, on the TTC as we do live in the suburbs. So, you know, we drive everywhere. That was really cool. She did much better than I thought. She was definitely, you know, whiny. She was a bit anxious, um, but she wasn't fearful. Um, pretty much I haven't seen any fear from her in a long time. It's been quite some time. She's uh, definitely a confident dog. She's just an anxious dog, which is pretty common <clears throat> amongst Dobermans. They're just nervy, but you know, she's not fearful. She did it really well. You know, the train came. She, she wasn't sort of scared of the noise and the fact that there's like this huge thing coming towards us. Um, so she did really good. And it's always, you know, quite a spectacle when there's usually a group of like anywhere from like 10 to 20 dogs. Usually there's about 15 on average. Um, and the good thing is that it's all you know people sort of in the same mindset like she's a balanced trainer so all of her clients you know train their dogs in a balanced way and you know it's all just the same people 
who have gone through the same issues, you know, reactivity and sort of issues that we all face and um, have the same training philosophy. So it's really nice to sort of meet people who, um, you know, I can talk to and understand what I'm saying and uh, are on the same page as me, kind of understand everything. There's actually a couple Dobermans um, who are in that group as well. Uh, so she has, there's one dog, one guy, one boy and a girl, so <clears throat> they're pretty neutral with each other, which is good, but we walk close together and they, you know, kind of bop noses when they see each other, so they know each other. Um, I'll input some photo and video um, towards the end of sort of what that group class looks like. Sorry, there's just a loud something going by, guys. <clears throat> Yeah, so I'll put some photos and videos. I think you guys will find it interesting. But like we do a lot of like impulse control. So, you know, we'll have them down in the middle of, the, of like a really busy area. Just imagine, you know, 15 dogs in a down in like the middle of the city. Um, people stop, take photos and videos. They find it quite interesting. So anyways, I've been doing that on Sundays. What else have I been doing? I wanted to maybe think about doing some agility with her. Um... I was at my friend's place, trainer, a couple weeks ago, and he had like a, probably a three and a half, four foot jump, and she jumped it. No, like it was the first time she did it, and I just said over, and she went over. So she's actually quite, um, yeah, she's quite talented. So I was thinking of maybe doing some agility. I looked up some places, but with COVID kind of still going on, some of them have some, you know, strict procedures in place and I just don't want to deal with that right now so I'm gonna wait a little longer until things loosen up and then I'll consider doing something like that with her uh, I'm gonna try maybe doing some like bite work with her not like protection training just sort of as a hobby um, yeah I'm just really looking for things to do with her um, I posted a video a few weeks back she was doing like a wall climb at a facility she really liked that but I have to be very careful because she kept landing on like her hind legs and, and you know, I don't want her to hurt herself, um, so it's not something I do often. So yeah, just looking for things to do, you know, do things with your dogs. I would say the biggest thing that's helped her become confident, like I can't even tell you guys, like when she was a puppy, when she was young, she was scared of everything. I'm not even exaggerating it. Like when I, you know, she really was a fearful pup. And, you know, I did a lot of things wrong as I talked about in a previous video. But the biggest thing that's helped, you know, along with sort of having that, you know, boundaries and kind of, you know, a no and a yes, was, um, I'm going to have her down. Down. A big thing that has helped is just exposure. You know, I took her, I, she has gone to so many places. Um, like if I would have taken her on the TTC two years ago, guys, she would have had a meltdown. She would have, you know, tucked her tail and tried to escape which is what she used to do like around bikes like she'd be very scared so she was never really as much reactive as she was sort of the one to try and want to escape um so like if i had her in a heel she'd try and like you know get away tuck her tail like it was very evident that she was scared and now here we are you know she's four so obviously i've been working hard with her for you know many years because i had her since she was eight weeks old and i can take her anywhere she's not afraid now, is she still sort of, you know, nervy? Does she get, you know, overwhelmed at times? Definitely. But it's very mild and she's still able to work through it and keep a clear mind, you know. Um, you know that your dog is really scared when they are not able to, you know, listen to commands that they know anymore because their mind is too overwhelmed to understand what you're saying. So it's sort of like when you're in drive, like when your dog is like in really high drive, like even right now, like sometimes if I ask her to like do something, she does it very sloppy because she's not thinking straight because she's in such a high drive. So like I can tell her, sit, sit, see, there we go. So she sat down, so she does it, but she's like, Whoa, you know, like all over the place. So like if I try and did more like formal obedience with her, she'd be much more sloppy just because she's in such high drive. So it's just that like state of, a lot of arousal or a lot of fear which like makes the dog not clear like think clearly which is like people right like think about like if you're like really scared or something and someone asks you like you're not thinking rationally right 
So yeah, so a few years ago, if I tried to take her on the TTC, she wouldn't be thinking rationally. She wouldn't be able to hold a heel. She'd sort of be all over the place trying to like, you know, look for shelter to hide. But she was really good. So I would say she's definitely not fearful anymore. She's become quite the confident little dog, sometimes too confident. <laughs> um, but yeah, and it's just been exposure. I literally, I don't know, like I've, I've taken her so many places. You know, I used to take her on that trail that used to make her so scared and I just worked her through it. And the big thing is, you know, play with your dog in places that they're uncomfortable, that they're scared. That is like the best and easiest way to build confidence. Now, I know some dogs, you know, don't have toy drive necessarily or it might be harder, but just you have to find something that they like doing and unlock it in a place that they're uncomfortable. And once you do that, the confidence builds. So I, I can recall like certain places specifically I went to where she was really nervous and I just like tried to play with her. Like I like forced her to play with me until she finally did and it just unlocked her and she just felt so good after. Um, so yeah, so like now I can take her anywhere and she'll play anywhere. And so that's how you know your dog is not afraid. Because when they're scared, they won't play just like they won't take treats, right? If your dog takes food and plays with you, they're not afraid. So if you're like, oh, my dog is just afraid, but yet they're playing, your dog is not afraid. Your dog is just, you know, probably being a jerk. <laughs> um, so like if you're dealing with like, you know, even reactivity, for example, um, and your dog will take food and play with you, but then when you don't have it, they're reactive. They're not scared. They're just being a jerk. Um, so, you know, I definitely, I don't have any reactivity issues with her, you know, in public or anything. Um, as you guys know, she's territorial. So that's really my only struggle with her. And I think a lot of it does have to do with me is I could definitely be more um, firm at certain times. You know, she probably has a little bit too much freedom in my home. You know, she does, I do crater and stuff, but not as much as I know that I should. Um, and so that probably takes a toll. Sometimes she'll look out the window and I'll let her kind of, you know, look at something a bit too long and might have a reaction. So I know the things that I should change, but I guess I just, um, I don't know. I, I guess I've kind of prioritized on, on what I want, but yeah, she's a bit territorial, so, um, you know, if somebody comes over, I need to have a proper introduction, but it's also just her breed, you know, it's it's very genetic, so it's, it's very hard to break genetics, um, you know, it took me four years to make her really confident like she is, and again, she came from an excellent breeder, um, you know, I met the parents, they were wonderful, but, you know, there's always different types of litters, or little puppies in a litter, so... Uh, it's not determined on that. She was just a little bit of a more fearful puppy, but turned out to be excellent. She's great with the family. Um, so yeah, I don't know, guys. I feel like I'm just rambling. <laughs> what else can I tell you? Um, just been really busy with work. Um, work has really been busy. Uh, just lots going on. So my routine has pretty much been like around 11, 11.30. I come to the park. I play ball with her, which is what I'm doing now. Then I go back home. She rests. I work usually around four o'clock. We go for like a nice long walk. Um, and in the evening, I might do a little tug with her, but it hasn't been anything extravagant. Okay. Um, just been kind of, which is good. You know, she's four and um, she's pretty chill. Like she's ready to go when I want, but she'll chill for the rest of the day. Oh, she just ran into this fence, guys. <laughs> she's literally made out of steel. <laughs> Didn't even feel it. She's running and I haven't even thrown the ball. Let's see if she'll down. Down! Down! Good. If she does this thing where she, she'll down, but she runs a few steps to me. She should down the moment I say it. But let me zoom in on her. Isn't she such a beauty? Look at that beauty. Yeah. <laughs> such a beautiful breed. Okay. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm just going to spend a little bit more time playing fetch with her. Going to head back home, um, do some work, go for a walk later on. I, I'm, I have the intent to post um, a video, just like a raw diet video. Again, it, I'm not really doing anything different, but I know some people have wanted to see it. Um, but yeah, I'm still using the same brand. It's, it's the pre-made mix. Um, she does really well on it. 
I really try and tell everybody I know to feed raw, but some people are like, yeah, yuck. I'm like, that's fine, you know, you can feed what you want, but I know for her, um, like my last dog I fed kibble and her I feed raw, and, and I do see a difference. I'm definitely at the vet, much less. <laughs> um, yeah, she's just healthy. Like, she will go, go, go like a puppy, and, you know, she's four, and I remember my last dog at four was already, like, you know, sleeping all day long. <laughs> so it makes a difference, but... And she loves it. Never turns down a meal. That's the thing. My last dog, you know, you put kibble out, sniff it, eh, not interested. With her, you know, 6.30, she's, she's ready for dinner. She's whining for dinner. She knows she's never skips a meal. She loves eating, um, which is good. Right? Let's see. <laughs> down. No, down. Good. Yes. So my trainer, oh, that was a good catch. Did you see that? So my trainer said that um, when I down her um, and she moves forward, really what I should be doing is once she downs, I should throw the reward behind her. So she learns that the reward is not going to come in front of her, but it's going to go behind her, which should hopefully make her less likely to want to, you know, take those extra steps but it's just really hard she I mean I've only started teaching this down in motion to her recently so but it's a really important skill to have because it's true like there could always be a car you never know what's around the corner so for her to be able to down in the moment is important and she will do it um, anytime I tell her to down the only challenge is when she's in recall to me so like if I call her and down her like while she's recalling she has trouble because she's already like her her recall is so strong her recall is intense she wants to get to me so bad down and also when we're playing ball so like on a normal basis if i'm just out with her doing whatever and i say down she'll down immediately but when i recall and try and make her down during her recall that's where she struggles she always has those footsteps and i have to say no so sit good Stand. Good. Yes. So my yes word is like a release word. It means like go get your reward. Um, then I have the word good, which means keep doing what you're doing. You're doing the right thing. Down, which means yeah, keep doing what you're doing. You're doing the right thing. No is no. Um, and okay is like what I use when we're like in heel um it's like go have your free time do what you want so like if i said okay and threw the ball she'll go get it so in this situation okay and yes are pretty much the same um, but yes implies that there's a reward coming and okay is just like you know you're free so those are kind of my markers um yeah she's breathing heavy so we're just waiting it's not even hot out today guys it's like 10 degrees and she's panting pretty heavy that's Doberman's for you. <laughs> so I'm gonna let her just kind of cool off a bit before I throw it some more. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a bit of a ramble. And I look forward to kind of chatting with you guys. Any comments, questions, please comment below. Um, please subscribe if you're new. Um, I know definitely I was kind of posting heavier earlier in the year, but uh, you know, kind of getting back in the groove of things. Uh, yeah, so I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for being here. And uh, yeah, stay healthy, stay safe, and uh, talk soon. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.